Hi, I'm Chris Palmore. We're at Art X FM. June 26, 2015. It is 9.14 in the morning. And uh, that one was with a little help from my friends. And I honestly, I feel like I have to give all types of credit to my friends because they're the ones that get me through. And that's everyone from my mom to my bestie. And there's just a million people in between. I would not be anything without my friends. So we all know that it takes a village, it takes a lot of support, and it seems like my next guest feels that too. Um, so we're gonna learn a little bit more about what I've heard is kind of this nationwide tour to kind of spread some some moments of gratefulness. So I've got my friend Chris here. Chris, how are you today? I'm great, Marianne, how are you? Thanks for coming in the studio. Oh, thank you, and thank you for sharing. That was actually a gratitude moment when you were just talking about your friends. So um, I was gonna, I'm still gonna ask you what you're grateful for, but that was, uh, I, that was good. Well, you know, your friends, they, they are always the ones that step in first to help you out, I feel like, when you're taking a risk or, you know, you're jumping in, you can always count on your friends. So the more friends you have, the more work you can do. So I am a nonprofit leader, so I am a big collaborator. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, I'm, we're, we're a nonprofit and, and a no money company too, so I, I understand. Completely. Collaboration is key. Yes, networking, Absolutely. friendships. Uh, yeah, no, friends, uh, I think life, uh, I, the most important thing in life are relationships. Absolutely. First and foremost, everything else is secondary. We are already simpatico. Yes, there we go. Me and you, Chris. So tell me, because you're not from here, you're not a Louisvillian, are you? Actually, I am. You're a Louisvillian? Yes, I am. But you're traveling. Yes, I'm actually. The bags are packed. We are we are driving from here to Chicago okay. um, to begin this tour. I, I'm starting out with a little uh, a cleansing. I'm going to Chicago and I'm going to uh, get a message from my 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 biggest mentor in the world, Bono. I'm going to go see you too. Uh, and, and I am so and, jealous of you right now, Chris. <laughs> I, it's going to be a spiritual experience. Oh, I already yes. know my friend Kyle Meredith has just interviewed him. And he, he said it was monumental. Oh, well, I'm, I'm jealous of your friend Kyle. Uh, well, he, he's, he's one of the best music producers in the biz over there um, at WFK. But there's a lot of love going on right now that's going to be centered around Chicago, especially because of the U2 show. I've got a ton of friends going. You are so awesome to be able to get to experience that. So you are actually going to get to, are you going to get to talk? To the man no, I, I, I feel though, uh, Marianne, that when I, because I've seen YouTube about 10 times, and uh, really? which is never enough, um, no, I because they're even better than the real thing. My friend Corey will appreciate that. So I, I feel that it's a spiritual thing being in there. I feel that when Bono's singing, the band's playing, I feel that, um, that I, I take it in as personally, like it's for me. So oh, sure. um, I'm not actually going to be able to dialogue with him right now. Not that I won't anytime, sometime soon, you I definitely know. could. Um, I've already written him a letter on the site. I would love for him to read it because I know what I'm doing. He would be about, and uh, people that help people out, you always got to continue I'm asking. Um, I feel people. this is right up Bono's alley. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we just need to tweet at him, is all that is. Yes, because. We just need to let him know. Yes. Our friend, yes. Our friend Chris is going to be there. I'm going to be there. Kicking and off the tour if I could get a gratitude moment. Yeah, so. if I could get a gratitude moment from Bono and uh, put it on the website, that he, would he start, could inspire. That would tour, huh? He could easily inspire millions. Millions of people to share gratitude. Okay, so, so it's just just as easy as sending a little message, right? We just got to tell his people. Right, they just need to hear about it, and, there we go. Uh, and they it's could be easy. listening right now, Chris. They could be. You never know. I don't even have to be there. Somebody else could grab this moment from them. Exactly. Very true. Very true. true. So tell me how you. So are are you? You're born and raised in Louisville, is that? Yes, Hikes know? Hikes Point. Oh, okay, okay. So we we really are friends. Yeah. You're okay, we're here. we're. Okay. Uh, that's cool, I did, because I thought you weren't from here, and that's why you were touring all around and things, but no, you. this really did come out of you as a Louisvillian. Yes, yeah, I this, love that. This, all, this all grew here, and I- Well, I, is it because we're a compassionate city? It's definitely part of it. You know the mayor said that. I've been trying to talk to him, and uh, at some point, uh, maybe he'd be a little easier to talk to than Bono. I mean, I guess I could go back down yeah, there. Yeah, he's definitely easier to talk to than Bono, I think. But yeah. we, we can get a gratitude moment out of him. I'm yeah, sure yeah. for lots of things. But how did this come come to play for you? How did you come up with the idea to do this tour? Well, it's uh, I, I'm going to do my best because I know we only have such a little time. You've got some wonderful other guests here. Uh, back in uh, December of 2013, I, on my birthday, I turned 34. 34, 34, 35, sorry I've been telling a story, I've got those numbers wrong, <laughs> and I decided leading up that day that I wanted to, um, I wanted to honor my mother, my birthday, so 
you know, because I, I realized that I didn't really have much to do with my birthday. Um, I just kind of showed up. If anything, I was a guest. I may have been the highlight, but I didn't put the party together. Exactly. I didn't put any time or planning into it. Uh, that was all I don't, day, right? Yeah, I have, I have no memory of it. So um, I got up really early and I wrote a letter to my mom expressing how I, I loved her and that I wanted this day to be about her because, um, be, because she's my mom and I love her. And um, I wanted to person. honor. <laughs> thank you. Like you're a real good son. Right well, there. I think well, you get brownie points for that. That's well, good. thank you. Well, I, uh, you know, so I did that. And I, I wrote this letter and I and I put it on her Facebook page because I wanted people to read it. I wanted it to be. I didn't only want it. I, I wanted to share love with her, but I wanted it to be public. Sure. So, you know, midday comes around. And I'm talking to my father, who's over here, and um, he's videotaping right now. And. Um, and I asked him, had mom read my letter? Because her and I talked a lot and I hadn't talked to her. And he said that she had and that she, um, that she was, uh, she needed more time to sit with it because it had had a, a great effect on her. So, um, so that became an, actually a, dish, a, a different moment. Because when you're writing something, you're sharing gratitude, that's its own encapsulation. Sure. Um, and then when it connects with somebody, that's actually a completely different experience. Right, that's their moment. Yeah, that's, that's our moment. Right. Um, so, what happened was that was December 30th and um, I didn't realize that uh, life was really going to be really going to be tough um, the coming months. So April 30th of, um, of literally you know four months later to the day my mom was dead. That's a tough one. Yeah. That's a tough one to take in. Yeah. So um, you have to feel good that you were able to give her that moment. Yes, exactly, exactly. I realized I had this uh, letter read at a funeral, um, and obviously it took on a very different context when I'm saying stuff like, you know, this coming year I'm going to make you prouder of me, and I'm going to tell you I love you more. Um, and again, like you're saying, and this is, I didn't talk to the kids down at the Tidy Academy, we're doing a school assembly program, that's for another time. Um, you know, gratitude and sharing love with your friends has a timetable, just mm -hmm. like your life does and theirs does. And nobody knows that timetable, but putting it off is a mistake. Absolutely. Um, you know, so you know, if I hadn't shared this letter, if I hadn't written this letter for my mom, we wouldn't be talking about this right now. Because right. what happened was, um, the following year, my birthday came around again. This last December thirtieth, fortunately, and I got up and decided I was going to write my dad a letter because this experience meant so meant so much to me, Marianne. You know. I wanted to. I wanted to do that. I wanted to do this again. So I got up, and this was a completely different letter. Um, you know, I was crying the whole time I wrote it, honestly. Um, and I, I took those moments because I appreciate life more to actually be in that and, and sit with it, opposed to just washing it away and forgetting about it. Sure. You know, this. Um, he, my, my dad is my parent. You know, there's nobody else in my life will ever love me as much as him. That's right. on this planet, straight up. It, you know, I, I told him before, I'm like, you know, he could, he could pass away tomorrow and I could live another, I could live a hundred years and nobody's going to be able to care about me that much. Um, so I wrote this letter to him on my birthday expressing how much I cared about him and how much, how much more, even more so important he was to me and the connection. And I put it on my blog post this time. So I had a very similar, similar, ex, you know, experience where he let me know that he needed time to sit with it and that it, I had made this connection again. And again, I made it public because I want people, I wanted people to know this because I'm not ashamed of the things and people I care about. I want to express that and that's very important. So what happened was him and I went on a 18 day trip in January, which we never would have done unless this circumstance would have been the way it was. So I, I went out and we were away, which is a beautiful thing. That's part of, I'm very excited about traveling. You get, it's almost like you've dropped baggage. Mm -hmm. um, you're a much looser, freer person uh, when you're out, and it's like it's like a brand new world. And I asked myself an important question. I said, you know, I said, I said, Chris, what what goals do you have for 2015? Um, because I know it, the questions you ask yourself, you actually answer. Like uh, opposed to other people asking you all the time, you can ignore them, not think about it. when you ask yourself that you actually get an answer. So I came up with about five things, Marianne, and one of them was that I wanted to somehow initiate others to have this experience that I was telling you about. So that was the nugget of the idea. Okay. And I got back and said, how do you do that? Okay, well, I have to have a goal. Okay, so, you know, I said, all right, well, I'm gonna, um, long story short, I decided, okay, I'm gonna, I can do this myself. I was initially thinking about news outlets. I was like, no, I can do this myself. I can create a website. I can get people in. I know how to do this. Um, what's the goal gonna be? I need a big goal because small goals don't mean anything. 
or, or at least when it comes, if you if you want to change the world, I don't think small goals. I don't think you aim small if you want to be if you want to change the world. So, m me by myself uh, with my little, my high. little website was I want to have a hundred thousand letters on this website by April thirtieth of two thousand sixteen, which is the second anniversary of my mom's passing. So that was my goal. That was my goal uh, in February. So uh, we've got a little less than a year. Yes. Left to go. Yes, and the goals changed. Everything's changed since then because I went up to New York and we did these things called gratitude spaces and I realized by videotaping people what I really want is I want gratitude moments. Okay, because a gratitude moment is really easy to get. I'm going to get one from you here in a second. Actually, you shared one, but I'm going to initiate it. Uh, a gratitude moment is very simple. You can just, it, a gratitude moment could be anything. It could be you just saying what you're grateful for. What you said about your friends, that's a gratitude moment. If you, you know, and then, it's, so that's very easy to get. I want people to write letters because I think they're great, but to get people in the door to understand this process, a video is very simplistic and it's so easy to do. It is and, now. Yes, it is. It's, it is now. And um, so the amazing thing is when you have a goal like initially 100,000 letters, you go, well, how do you do that? You have to think, okay, how does, how does that work? There's only one way that I could possibly make that work with the time frame I have, and that is to launch a social media platform. You have to tell people. Well, yes, but I, I have to definitely tell people I'm doing now, but I have to have a platform where people can organically share gratitude throughout the world, and they can make these posts because there's absolutely no way even I can, there's no way that it can be tracked any other way. There's no way, I, I have to have people organically sharing gratitude, so I, I'm in the process of launching the first social media platform for sharing gratitude throughout the world, or I would say the most, the most significant one. Nice. Well, I want to hear more about your tour and these gratitude moments and how people can participate. We're going to take a quick break, but we're going to come back. We're going to talk to Chris a little bit more about what he's grateful for. And I know I'm grateful for like a thousand million things. So we will also talk a little bit about that. Don't go away. You are listening to Art FM, and this is Fullert Arts.